Let's look at an example in cylindrical coordinate system, uh, R theta z, in three dimensions. Here we have a device that has two one half kilogram masses tethered to a central shaft. Each cord makes a, an angle of 25 degrees with the central shaft, and assuming that the central shaft is spinning at a constant uh, speed, what is this constant? speed this is one thing we are interested in knowing and then uh, later we want to know what should this vertical angle between the vertical shaft and the cord be so that the spinning speed is exactly 100 rpm so let's begin by first choosing the directions if i draw this as the radial direction R, then unit vector in radial direction is that way tangent to it as it turns around tangent to that circular path is the transverse direction and vertical is unit vector in Z direction which is the same as K. So let's draw a Diagram perpendicular to our Z plane, a free body diagram of one of the two masses. Then I have a weight going down, weight equal to mass times acceleration of gravity G. And then the other force is the tension that makes an angle of 25 degrees with Z axis. So let this be. 25 degrees and net mass times acceleration equals to the net force so if I wish to draw vector ma this is let's say vector ma in radial direction recall from your kinematic analysis that radial acceleration in polar coordinates is r double dot minus r theta dot squared so basically i'm after theta dot so you see how i want to go after it i want to write the equation of motion in radial direction and then after numerical calculation i want to solve for theta observe that in vertical direction i can write net force in z direction equal to zero since there is no vertical motion and i choose up to be positive this gives me t cosine of 25 minus mg which is 0 0.5 times 9.81 equal to zero solving this equation for tension t i get a force of 5.41 newtons 5.41 newtons next i can write the equation of motion in radial direction net force in radial direction equals to m a sub r i choose positive to the right if i follow the equation uh, the component the horizontal component of t is opposite to the angle but it is going left so i should write minus t which i just found to be 5.41 times sine 25 equals to mass times a radial component of acceleration which is r double dot minus r theta dot squared if you look at this triangle right here, observe that R is opposite to the angle. Therefore, R equals to length of 0.75 meters times sine of 25. And since this angle is constant, R will be constant. Therefore, both first and second derivative of R are both zero so this goes to zero then i have an equation with one unknown after plugging for r i get minus point i'm sorry not minus 0.5 but minus 5.41 sine 25 equal to 0 
there's also another minus on the right side so I write minus 0 0.5 times 0 0.75 sine 25 which is r times theta dot squared minus cancels out from both sides if I solve this equation for theta dot it is a square root of 5 point I can also eliminate sine from both sides is 5.41 divided by 0.5 times 0.75 so this gives us a rotational speed of 3.8 radians per second now let's go to the next page and see how we want to find the vertical angle corresponding to a rotational speed of 100 rpm so Observe that uh, since the given rotational speed is in RPM before anything, I want to make sure that I'm using the right units. So let's convert 100 revolutions per minute to radians per minute. One minute per 60 seconds times 2 pi radians for every revolutions so you see how I can convert taking a calculator and doing the numerical calculation rotational speed will be 10.472 in radians per second now I want to draw another free body diagram which is basically going to be the same as what I had on the previous slide with the exception of angle instead of 25 degrees I have some unknown angles so again I draw let's say one of the two masses one force is the weight which is mass times acceleration the other force is the tension this angle is unknown therefore equation of motion in vertical direction again is net force in z direction equals to t cosine of angle phi minus mg which is 0 0.5 times uh, 9.81 equal to 0 observe that this time I have two unknowns in this equation this means that I need another equation with the same two unknowns so if I write the net force in radial direction positive to the right, that equals to MAR, but let's plug in whatever is known. So horizontally, T has a component to the left, so I'll write minus T sine phi not phi but phi this is not an english letter so i shouldn't pronounce it uh, like that so i have minus t sine phi equals to m times a sub r again a sub r is r double dot minus r theta dot squared since radius is constant second derivative of r goes to zero then again observe that uh, r is this radius this angle now is the unknown length L times sine of that angle equals to R so now R is 0.75 sine phi plugging this into my equation I have minus T sine phi equal to minus 0.5 times R which is point seven five sine phi theta dot squared which is known ten point four seven two squared observe that i can simplify this equation by getting rid of sine on both sides and i can eliminate the minus sign and then rewrite the equation but observe that this equation also has two unknowns so let's, so let's number these equations 
I have this equation as number one, this one as number two. Since I'm after the angle, I should eliminate tension from equation one. If I do so, equation one gives me T equal to half of uh, 9.81 is 4.905 divided by cosine of phi. Plugging this into equation 2 eliminates tension T. So now I have from equation 2 I have 4.905 over cosine of this angle equal to 0.5 times 0.75 times 10.472 uh, squared which it, which turns out to be if I do the numerical calculation uh, I have uh, let's see I have uh, 0.5 times that I have 82.25 uh, if I make that correction I have 0.5 times speed squared is 82.25. So eventually, you see how I can solve for the angle. Cosine of that angle is 4.905 over this value, half of uh, 82.25 is 41.125, which turns out to be a small number which is 0.119 cosine is that therefore this angle is inverse cosine of that number which turns out to be 83.15 so if we want the rotational speed to be 100 rpm the vertical angle, the angle between the cord and the vertical shaft will be 83.15. Thanks for watching.